Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a GUI with Python 3 and TK Inter. Okay, so we're going to be creating a GUI like this one here that we've created on our sketch. We're going to type in some hourly rate, some number of hours, click on calculate and our GUI will tell us your salary is and here the value will be calculated. Okay, if we see it in action, this is the way it's going to look. We can type in our values and click calculate salary and it's going to give us your salary is 9 euro. Okay, so now that we know what we want to create, let's go and create it. Okay, I'm using PyScripter. Uh, we need to start with from tk inter import all. Then we're going to create our GUI. I'm going to call it my GUI equals tk and we're gonna enter into the main loop okay this is gonna create our window now we can change the geometry of it and i'm gonna create it with uh, 400 by 200 with a padding of 100 and 200. we're also gonna be adding a title my GUI the title And we're going to say wages calculator. And if we run this, this is what we have so far. We have our window with our title, with the size that we want, etc. Okay, so let's continue and add some labels. We're going to have three labels. The first one is going to be that title that we saw in red. So label, it's going to go into my GUI, that's the master. Um, the text um, whoops, is going to say welcome to the wages calculator. We're going to change the font color to red. And we're going to place it on the grid on row 0, column 2. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste this and create our labels 2 and 3. So label 2 and label 3. And the text is going to be different and the position is going to be different, but everything else is the same. So our second label will say enter hourly rate. And our second one, or third one, sorry, will say enter number of hours or just number of hours. Now we need to change. We don't want this on row 0. We want them on rows 1 and 2. And we want them on column 0. We want them on the left. Okay. If we run this, this is what we get. Okay. It's all looking okay. Except we didn't want these two to be in red because I copied and pasted and I forgot to get rid of the color. We just want them. The default is black, so we just get rid of this, and this is now going to be our form. Okay, so we have our labels, now we're going to create our entry boxes, and we're going to have two entry boxes. My salary h per hour equals entry box, goes in my GUI, and now instead of text, we have text variable. And we're going to call this variable salary h per hour. And we're going to place this on a grid. Same row as the text that tells us what to put in there. And column further to the right. Too. And my hours are going to be equal to an entry box on my GUI with a text variable. called n hours and we put this on the grid row equals two Ooh, we made a mistake there and column equals two. Now before we can use this we need to these variables here, salary h and n hours, we need to define them. So I'm gonna come here and say salary h equals 
string var that just creates a placeholder placeholder for it and n hours equals string var okay so they exist then we can use them to store the value that the user is typing in if we run this code what we get is our form with the two entry boxes okay so our button we're going to just call it button one equals button we say it's going to my GUI the text that it displays is going to say calculate wages and we are going to use a command equals and in here we're going to just type in the name of the function that will execute the action so let's say calculate wages is the name of our function we'll put this button on the grid again after all the other ones will be row 3 and column 0 if we want it on the left so now we need to go to the top and type in our calculate wages function so we're gonna come up here def calculate wages is the name of our function and we're gonna start we're gonna start by creating oops, our variables hours and hsal and these variables are gonna convert into a float the value in the string and hours and the string oops uh, salary h okay then we're gonna say salary equals h sal by hours and then we're gonna place that into a label I call it label results so we don't get confused with the other labels and we're gonna say label where it goes in my GUI the text is gonna say your salary is colon the euro sign and then we have our percentage dot f f and percentage salary for the two floating point we place it on the grid this might be a bit too far down anyway we'll see how it comes out we're gonna put return so it goes back to the main GUI and we'll play it okay so if we play this we get hourly rate 8 euro number of hours worked 10 hours calculate wages your salary is 80 euro and with this we have a basic GUI with labels entry boxes and command buttons and we have played around those widgets okay I hope this helps see you in the next video